Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the essential oil of angelic root. Now the angelica plants grow all across Europe and throughout Asia. There, there are different species, but most of them have these beautiful umbrella-like flower canopies of white or yellow little flowers. But these are very generous plants as well that give us different essential oils from different parts. Now, two of the most common parts of the plant that gift us an essential oil are the seeds, angelica, root, uh, angelica seeds, and then angelica root. Now, the two main ones are angelica archangelicus, which is found in Europe, and then angelica sinensis, which is found in China. Now, this Chinese version has been found throughout history for being used for a whole range of different uh, uses in traditional Chinese medicine. In this video, we're going to explore both these angelica roots and how they can benefit the body, the mind, and the spirit. As I mentioned just a moment ago, there are various different types of angelica root essential oil. But what I've found across the board is they all really help with the skin. Overall, any oil that comes from the root of a plant, so vetiver is another example, or spikenard, can be really great for the skin, especially the deeper layers of the skin. So in the evening, grab one drop of your angelica root essential oil, mix it with your nighttime moisturizer, and rub that all into your feet. Now, before I mention that angelica sinensis has been used in China in traditionally, tr sorry, traditional Chinese medicine for a long, long time. This is normally to help with women's health and menstrual health in that type of um, area. So using a bit of angelica root essential oil whenever you need to kind of regulate any menstrual issues and mixing that with the carry oil and again over the abdomen can be really quite beneficial. Now, when we look at Angelica Archangelicus, which is the European version, this has got a really calming nature. It's high in something called alpha pinene. This is really great for helping to calm the nerves. So whenever you're feeling stressed, a drop of that may be rubbed on the soles of the feet with a carry oil, rubbed into the shoulders or up and down the spine and the neck, straight into the central nervous system can be an absolutely blissful way to use this oil as well. So especially using it at night really helps you find this kind of deep peacefulness, whether it be relaxing and nurturing the skin, whether it be women's health, or whether it be just calming our nerves, regardless of whether you're a man or a woman. Angelica root essential oil has a really calming effect on the mind, so it can really help you to relax. So by inhaling it or popping it in the diffuser, it does have a really earthy aroma, which will appeal to some people, but not to others. You can still blend it in with maybe some flowers like lavender or something else to help sedate that, but breathing that in is really gonna help calm down the mind, especially if you're in a rush. We know when we're in a rush, we end up making mistakes, we do things wrong, we forget things. And if you find yourself in that um, environment a lot, Angelica Root is really gonna help you stay grounded and focused in these times. Another place I really like Angelica Root is when you're in a really crazy area. So, or a frenetic or a frantic area. So think about big cities and you feel a little bit overwhelmed, or maybe you work in a high pressure environment. Any of these times, it's really nice to start the day or prepare yourself to go into this environment, feeling a bit protected and a bit more grounded. Getting some angelic root essential oil, mixing it with the carry oil and rubbing it on the soles of your feet, I find to be really beneficial. On a deeper level on the mind, angelica root really helps us deal with any grief or sorrow. It's a really great one when you're dealing with the death of a loved one, whether that be someone in, you know, a family member, a friend, or even a pet. Sometimes we know that they're going to pass. We don't know exactly when, but this kind of imminent uncertainty and knowing that the grief will come can really help to drag us down. This is where I recommend again reaching for angelica root. Anointing yourself in it or breathing it in allows you to kind of find that stability, find some comfort and kind of process the different stages of grief so that the overall process is honest and authentic to yourself and you can, you know, you can look after yourself whilst also being able to look after the loved one as well. When it comes to our spiritual work, this is where Angelica Root really excels. Of course, because of the name, Angelica Root really helps you to connect with the angels. It allows you to slow down, to pause, and receive different messages from them. Remember, angels can appear in our dreams or in visions and talk to us, but they also show other guidance systems. And often what they use is they use synchronicities. Things happening. Now, if we're rushing around too frantically, we're gonna miss those messages and Angelica Root really helps you to make sure that you get them. 
working with Angelica Root, having it around on you or in your space will also help to bring in and invite in the angel's guardianship and give you little blessings and luck along the way. It is also a very protective oil. So putting in a spritzer, popping on your doormat, anointing your house with it, diffusing it, helps to protect the overall space. It's really good also for apparently denying or stopping any prying eyes. If you're worrying about some sticky beak, you know, always wondering what you're up to, then try working a bit with angelic root. Now, when we get into more heavy spiritual work, this is things like doing, you know, meditations or astral travel or anything like that. One of the concerns is what happens if I kind of drift off and can't come back? Well, Angelica Root has this kind of tethering ability to be able to tether you back into reality and make sure that you are able to come back into reality. Well, when we go out and we either, if we're, you know, doing astral travel or meditation or vision quests or working with the angels, we're going to get insight. We're going to get visions. We're going to get guidance. Now, that's all very good and well to have that wisdom. But if we're not able to apply that into the physical world, then what's the use? We're here having a physical experience as these human bodies, so we might as well make sure we use all the wisdom that we gain on the other realms. Angelica Root is really, really great for helping you to do this as well. If you're interested in doing past life work, then Angelica Root really helps with this. I find with Angelica Sinesis, that really helps with kind of any, if you feel any calling to parts of Asia and you believe that maybe there's some past life work that needs to be done there, that's great. And Angelica Archangelicus, the European one, is really good if you feel that you have any kind of history in Europe that you need to go back and work through as well. What it can do is it can help you to break free of those bonds of the past and actually use that wisdom to make sure that it lifts you up and that it actually benefits you in this lifetime rather than holds you back. A bit of an unusual place to point, put an essential oil, but mixing a little bit with carrier oil and putting it on what I call your wing buds. So if you were to sprout wings like an angel, where would that be? Kind of back here on near the scapula. And anointing it there can actually help you to get this kind of uh, lifting up feeling, this kind of... Um, unfurling your wings and rising to your potential. So if you're feeling dragged down by anything heavy or restricted, whether it be past lives or spiritual, or just something in the physical world, try putting a bit of Angelica on that area, visualizing big wings coming out, what color are they? And then see them lifting you over any trouble and arising over any density or anything that's trying to drag you down or trying to cause you to continue suffering in any way. When it comes to the chakras, angelica root is associated with what I call our lower chakras, beyond our base chakra. So our base chakra is purely about your ability to feel safe and secure. As we go below that, we have our earth star chakra, which connects us to the land. It connects us to all animals, all plants, all minerals, and all other uh, humans on this planet as well. We can then go one step further into the incarnator chakra, which is about 60 centimeters below our feet, and that connects us to our, our clan, our tribe, our ancestry. And so as we've been talking about Angelica Root, you'd see how it really helps us to understand where we've come from and to bring that connection into here and now. The beautiful thing about Angelica Root and working with these lower chakras is it really helps us bring in the guidance from above and apply that to the physical world. So how are we going to kind of orchestrate our spiritual purpose. Knowing, having an intimate knowledge of the land, being able to work in unison with our brothers and sisters, the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom and the mineral kingdom will all give us an upper hand at achieving what we're here to achieve. So focus on the earth star chakra and the incarnator chakra with the angelica root, inhaling it and visualizing the spheres of light below your feet. The earth star chakra is normally a brown color, the incarnator quite a dark black color, visualizing them, feeling that connection. The Earth Star Chakra is about the here and the now. The Incarnator will take you, journey you into the past. These two can be really quite potent and can be amplified by working with Angelica Root. Of course, Angelica Root is always an amazing essential oil to use just by its own, but we can also bring in other elements of the plant kingdom, other essential oils, to help amplify or change up what we're doing with our Angelica Root. Now, if you're just looking for a really nice smelling kind of blend, try mixing Angelica Root with one of your favourite flowers, maybe rose or geranium or a lang, lang and it can kind of really have this earthy but florally aroma to it. It's really quite nice. Now, if you're thinking, okay, I'm really exhausted, I'm overdoing it, I need to slow things down, then Angelica Root with lavender, basil, and maybe something like um, patchouli would be really good to help us drop into the present to make sure we're focusing on what's important and just to relax a little bit as well. 
Of course, angelica root really helps us to connect with the angels. So any of the oils that help with angelic work, things like blue tansy can actually be great. Yarrow can be absolutely amazing. Uh, you might want to work with Melissa. Um, frankincense can be absolutely divine as well. Any of these and try making your own angelic blend. I'd love to know if you have any angelic blends that you've created that have worked really well. Maybe for the angels in general or guardian angel or one of the particular angels like Michael, Raphael, Gabriel and so on. Have you made one? Share with our, our, our essential oil loving community below. We can all give that a try as well. To make the most out of Angelica Root, why not bring in some other gifts from the other kingdoms? I love working with the Mineral Kingdom and there is a crystal that matches almost perfectly to Angelica Root and that's called Usengite. Usengite is found in Greenland, it's this kind of mauve coloured crystal and Usengite is renowned for helping us to bring our spiritual lessons and apply them to the practical, just like Angelica Root. It's also quite a rare crystal, it's a high vibration crystal. This one works more with the Soul Star Chakra by working with this and then Angelica Root with the Earth Star Chakra, you can help to merge your connection to the universe with your connection to this planet. And that can be really quite powerful. So try working with a bit of Usengite, holding it whenever you're meditating with Angelica Root, or just wearing it whenever you're wearing um, or working with Angelica Root as well. Now you can also look at the, uh, the wisdom and the guidance from the animal kingdom. And the animal guide that comes to me when I'm working with Angelica Root is the goose. Now geese are renowned for being very brave but they're also a migratory animal. And so, it, Goose can teach us how to be brave and defend what's important to us, but also to be, ha, I guess, have the confidence and to follow our senses and to keep on our path. Angelica Root helps to keep on bringing guidance down into our physical reality from the angelic realm. So we understand why we're here and we keep on moving. So we don't get stunted, we don't get um, inhibited by anything down here. So Goose can really help to give you that kind of tenacity to defend and fight for anything that you love and that you're passionate about, but also to teach you to keep on moving, take flight, fly, migrate, go where you need to go, go wherever you're called so that you can learn your next lesson and have your next experience. When it comes to astrology, I find this is a beautiful um, oil to work with on the Piscean energy. So if you're Pisces, you know, Pisces have this great dreamlike energy and they're able to kind of connect with their spiritual realm and the physical realm really, really well. But even if you're not a Pisces, you can still work with Angelica Root because each of the star signs governs one aspect of life. Pisces governs our spiritual life. Again, it's that connection between the physical and the spiritual coming in there. The moon also has a strong connection to Angelica Root and the moon rules Monday. So if you're going to do something major with the Angelica Root, if you can save it to a Monday, that can be really quite potent as well. Now remember, when it comes to getting your essential oils, not all essential oils are created the same. In fact, the majority of essential oils on the market are mislabeled and are not actually gifted to us purely from the plant. You want to make sure that you're getting an oil that is pure, is a therapeutic grade, it's been tested, and that whoever is um, farming it is being looked after as well. A lot of the time in third world countries, we hear about farmers being neglected or mistreated or ripped off in those types of ways. If you'd like some more information on how to get hold of some really great Angelica root essential oil, then please reach out to me. My details are below. And I'd love to also hear from you just in the comments section if you've had a really great experience with Angelica root. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barillet. Blessed be.